Hello and welcome to the Go Anteater podcast for today. Today we actually have another special guest. This one's very dear to my heart. This is my mom. Um, and you are the Anteater Advocates Director here at ABC Home and Commercial Services. And I just kind of wanted to see if you would kind of elaborate. What is Anteater Advocates? What does it do for the community? And what does it mean for ABC? And why do we do that? Sure. So... Anteater Advocates is just another division. It's actually our division that's the philanthropic portion of our business. Um, kind of encompasses donated services um, and all things that we do in the community. And um, we just feel that because we've been so richly blessed as a business that it is our responsibility to make sure that we give back to our community. And currently, we are pushing hmm, close to four hundred thousand. We're about almost almost where. $390,000 worth of uh, donated pest control services. And we make sure that we donate to very worthy nonprofits, um, such as the uh, North Texas Food Bank, Tarrant County Food Bank, hundreds of other food banks, all the child advocacy centers in the area. Um, let's see, Waxahachie um, Children's Home, Presbyterian mm -hmm. Children's Home, Cumberland Children's Home. Uh, suit mobile I, I could go on on and on we have we just donate a lot to a lot of really really wonderful worthy causes and nonprofits oh yeah well and you know this isn't new to us um, something that you know uh, grandfather started that kind of that train of thought back in the day that kind of planted that seed and you and dad have really built upon that to where anteater advocates is probably if he looked at it today would be so proud at the fact of where it's gone and and what it's become oh i would agree so yeah papa um started by donating pest control services to his church and uh we in turn when we came to the dallas fort worth area um, back in 1989 we decided started a business we decided that that's what we would do when we found a church home and um, when we did we started donating pest control services and it just kind of escalated from that um, we just wanted to make sure that we were giving back more to the community and helping and we feel that by being able to donate pest control services to nonprofits most of the pest control services whether they're audited accounts or not they have those as budgeted line items in the, in their budget right. for, for their nonprofit organization and by donating those services to them, that allows them to take those funds and use them in other areas that might be helpful for, for whatever, you know, purpose that they serve in the community. So. Absolutely. It's, it's the thought process of, you know, writing a check to an organization like that. That's going to have to funnel through multiple layers before your dollar in the end may be more like $20 right. for what you're, I mean, 20 cents for what you're actually trying to donate to right. versus this is taking a direct expense off of their table and, and just taking care of that for them. Correct. So whatever they would have spent on that, they can take that money and then put it back into their organization to help those in the community that are in need or needing to utilize the services that they provide. Um, we also do a lot of not just donated pest services, but we do a lot of community service. Right. Um, for instance, we, we have a monthly um, volunteer opportunity at the CCA Food Pantry located in the Denton County area, and it services all of Denton County. And that's really fun. We, we have a, a, a group of people that are pretty much the same every month and, and, and we just enjoy being around one another and typically we'll go out to, to dinner afterwards and so we've just really gotten to know each other a, a lot better. Um, we also, for CCA, uh, which CCA is Christian Community Action, for CCA we do a Christmas um, toy drive mm -hmm. and we each year we try to outdo the year the previous year. Right, so. Right. So Always this, a competition. Absolutely. <laughs> so this year we donated a little over 3,000 toys, I believe. I, sh I really should have looked at this. But, <laughs> but um, each year we just continue to add more. And um, it's been really fun to see because we kind of have done it around the time that we here at ABC with our ABC family have our Christmas party. And there have been so many people that as soon as Christmas is kind of – over with come and gone they start then collecting right. toys and um and we do kind of prod them along by giving them the opportunity to win prizes uh for bringing those toys in but 
it is just one of the it's one of the highlights of mm -hmm. my year mm -hmm. and pretty much any of the managers and things when when they go because most of them will try to go with us that day and unload the toys right. and you know we back up a huge trailer and just unload all the toys and there's usually tears and laughter and fun and it's just it's just so heartwarming to see the generosity of our ABC family and their hearts and giving and making sure that children that live in the Denton County community area that need the, the help, that their families just might, might need some help during that time, that they have a good Christmas as well as, you know, any other kid would. So Absolutely. that's a lot of fun. Huh. We, we do a lot of, we, we, we do uh, volunteer opportunities at um, the North Texas Food Pantry. Mm -hmm. Uh, we've worked at Mission Arlington quite a bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we've done Salvation Army Angel Tree Warehouse. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a lot of fun. And that is. Typically, that's uh, managers that will take a day, and we just go and we help in the warehouse, and, and that's been a lot of fun. So we just really look at different opportunities within the communities that we work and serve to actually help in any way that we can oh absolutely i mean it's close to everyone here at the abc family mm -hmm. when it comes to this i mean you know our community has always taken such good care of us as a business in terms of that's how we've been able to grow our customer base and get to where we are today and um it's just our way of kind of giving that back to our community right and it's the you know we have two mottos that we like to utilize that i think both of them fit for this where one of them it is it's not just about what we do it's about who we are and that's that's really where i think anteater advocates really is such a main per component of that motto and what we are trying right. to actually give out to everybody and then i also love the anteater advocates motto the caring for those who care for others i really love that i think that's definitely something that's kind of special to us um and I think it does set us apart from other people that are in our on our market. Um, right. And so, I mean, those are two things that are very important to us. Uh, I very much believe that's very much in or worked into the DNA of ABC and everyone that works in the ABC family. Um, I, I thank you for coming today, kind of sharing a little bit more about Anteater Advocates, what that means and what, what impact we're trying to drive with that of just giving back to the community since they've always taken good care of us. Um, I want to thank everyone for tuning in today for the episode. I hope that you have a great rest of the day today, and uh, cheers, everyone. ABC Home and Commercial Services.